Welcome back to my 52 frames journey. It's week 28 and 29 and I'm still hiding indoors. This week I'll be photographing household items for the two challenges spoon and shape with light. Both of these topics drove me mad. I was like a bear with a sore tooth. I struggled to come up with a concept and I always tried to be original in my own way. And although the photos weren't really that original, I ended up really loving the results. I've looked at so many photos of spoons that I started to dream about spoons. And I must be honest, there are some really, really cool and creative photos out there. And even, okay, spoiler, but I usually shoot my talking head after I've submitted the photo. So I've seen the Spoon album in the 52 Frames album already. And there were some really, really cool concepts. But nevertheless, I struggled to come up with a concept as mentioned earlier. And then eventually settled on a very minimalistic, simplistic, high key photo for this week. My trusty old IKEA little lamb. Yep, it's working. Please note that in that little bowl is the whole egg. Oh, I should have known right there that this is gonna end bad. Yep, and there it is. I really do know how to make a mess sometimes. Removing the teaspoon and replacing it with a bigger spoon. Egg number two. Separated this time, which I think might have been a better idea from the start. Nice clean backdrop. Let's go for take number two. An intruder, visitor, or distraction coming to visit in my office. Another idea is brewing. Lego googly eyes. Bloody reflections I'm trying to get rid of. Maybe a little mouth? Nah. Voila.
Although the little egg faces were cute and fun photos, the Far Superior photo was without a doubt my initial idea of an egg with the spoon and the little bit of egg white dripping into the shells. The shape with light concept was a bit hard for me to wrap my head around. But in the end, I figured it basically boils down to light and shadow and the play with that creating different shapes. Thus, I ended up going with another minimalistic photo. But since my previous photo was high key, I thought I'll go low key for this photo. Like with the spoon photo, I also used my macro lens and tried quite a few different compositions and motions. The little head torch was my backlight that I used for when the match goes out and there's smoke to create that contrast against the black background. The foil I added was purely to add a bit of light and reflection to my subject. Lastly, the little silver ball in front was just in case I had to put out the match with a little bit of water. Overall, I did get a few photos I was quite proud of. As mentioned earlier in the photo, I was actually really happy with the results of these two photos, especially after the frustration I had coming up with a concept. Indoor photography really isn't my favourite, and that's probably why the universe only brought 52 frames to my attention after COVID. But for the time being, I either have to suck it up or face the heat, or I could go out somewhere that's still indoors with the sweet cool AC. And that's exactly what I'll be doing next week when I have to photograph another common object or vital life source, water. Thank you for watching and see you then.